Hey guys, Makano Man here. Today I wanted to show you my 1985 Honda XL100S. I got this bike from a friend who was moving and needed to downsize a bit. It was my very first motorcycle and I only paid 150 bucks for it. it went literally everywhere on this thing. When I first got it, I could tell it had been through a lot, but overall the condition of the bike was pretty good. I mean, just look at the quality of the seat. When I acquired this bike, I had no other vehicle, so I learned to ride pretty quickly just going to working back. This bike would start up every single time, first kick. Shortly after getting the bike, I moved to Heber Valley where I had more places to ride and more time to work on the bike. I completely overhauled this bike and literally scrubbed every square inch of the chrome. Got the blinkers working again. new horn, and the mirrors were perfectly adjusted. Talk about a man and his machine. I got this bike looking so good, I couldn't even go to the gas station without someone complimenting what a cool ride it was. One of my absolute favorite rides was the day that I snuck into a cross-country skiing resort over at Soldier Hollow. I saw mountain bikes in there, and I didn't realize I was sneaking in until I saw a sheriff at the bottom of the hill waiting for me. I accidentally shifted into neutral here instead of first. Rookie mistake, but that's how you learn. It broke the tail light off, which would go through many more repairs in the weeks to come.
This bike was a pleasure to work on since all the components were very simple and accessible. Anyway, back to my story. So I cruised past the sheriff at full speed and decided to head directly for the railroad track where I knew he couldn't follow me. And I'm sure glad I did because I ran into this guy who was also out enjoying a beautiful day with his machine. I'll never forget this ride. He swooped right down to say hi to me. I don't usually put stuff on YouTube, but yeah. I might. So. Cause that was that was bomb, dude. Cool little, uh, bike, huh? It gets me around, dude. It's an '85, and uh, I gotta watch it because oh, I, lo I already lost my brake light, my oh. license plate. Well, I guess I'll go back to that. <laughs> yeah, I got a couple of those myself. Yeah. I like the fat cats. I got three fat cats. Hell yeah! I love With those bikes. Big fat tires. Yeah, that's that's cool. tires. Uh -huh. I, I've only made them right for a year. They only made them for two years, so uh -huh. they're hard to find, but I've collected a couple of them. But. Oh, hell yeah. What year are they? I got two 86s and 87. Hell yeah. The 86 and 87 are both all original, and then I've got one that I restored. That's on the frame. And uh, it it takes a lot of time. Yeah. This is an 85. It didn't yeah. run when I got it. I put probably $300 just here and there. <laughs> cool. Well, that was cool running into you, man. That was yeah. awesome. That made a good day. Yeah, well, I, I see you around flying a bit here and there. Cool. Sounds good. I'm gonna try to find my license plate. All right. Thank you. Man. You too. After enjoying the crap out of this bike for about three years or so, I sold it for the whopping price of 300 bucks to a kid who wanted to tear the engine down. I took it up a very steep hill one day and couldn't seem to get it started after that. I knew I could have got a lot more for this bike, but I wanted to share the joy that was shared with me. Thanks to my buddy Patrick for selling me this bike and getting into riding. Thanks for watching you guys. Another cool ride that I went on is this time when I took my bike on a family road trip to San Rafael Swell, about 300 miles south from Salt Lake City.
After we set up camp, we went out for a 16 mile round trip loop through the desert, spotting some cool petroglyphs along the way. On another ride, we went down Eagles Canyon, which was at the time one of the most technical and fun rides that I've done. I didn't capture that ride on film, but I got this cool picture of Interstate 70's massive bridges crossing over Eagles Canyon. This picture does not put into perspective how high up those bridges were. It was a stunning view. I would love to come back here someday. Thanks for watching everyone.